everybody. My name's Kirk. Welcome to Connect. I'm super excited that you're here. I have a question for you. What are some words that would describe the perfect dad? I think of words like funny, a uh, great listener, uh, caring. What kind of words would you come up with? Well, at Connect HQ, Dot thinks she's figured out a formula to create a perfect dad. But only God is the perfect dad. Now we have a point that we need to learn. I'm gonna say it, I need you to repeat it after me. Are you ready? All right, here we go. I am accepted and loved. A child of God above. Great job. All right, now it's time for one of my favorite things that we get to do, and that is worship. So let's go to Connect HQ right now to learn more. I love it when we get to connect to God through singing and dancing, especially around Christmas time. During Christmas, we celebrate the greatest gift God has ever given us, His only Son, Jesus. And you know what? We can give Jesus a Christmas gift right now by singing and dancing with all our might. So let's get up on our feet and sing some Christmas songs together.
the snowman, to the snowman, to the snowman, to the snowman. And slide on the sled, slide on the sled, slide on the sled. Now stop. I'll say.
going on? See that guy running away from the security guards? Yes. That's the dad from Home Plate. What's Home Plate? Only one of the most heartwarming sitcoms of the 1980s. I used to think this guy was the perfect dad. Now he's just some guy who snuck into the zoo in his pajamas, tried to high five a penguin, and has spent the last half hour running from security in a golf cart. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You lost me. Here, I will explain the whole thing. <sighs> Who is hammering? Me. I finally put up my wall calendar. But it's December. The year's practically over. Better late than never. Spruces up the wall, don't you think? Uh, it says that it's Wednesday, December 2nd, but it's Friday the 2nd. Don't use it for the dates. I've had that calendar for years. I just like the pictures. But that defeats the whole purpose of a calendar. You can't reuse last year's with this year's. You sound like Maurice. Dot, you can't use a salami like a hammer. But here we are. Hungry? We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Dot, and this is the time I found the perfect dad. And even though you drove a hot dog cart into the front of our restaurant and caused lasting damage to the building's foundation, <laughs> you'll always be my number one slugger. You mean it, Dad? You'll never strike out with me. Aww. Man, when is life going to stop, stop throwing, throwing me curveballs? Curve curve what you watching, Dot? <laughs> I've found tons of episodes from a classic sitcom from the 80s called Home Plate. Hmm. Is that the one about the baseball pitcher who retires to open up a restaurant and raise his three crazy kids? Yep. The dad on this show is perfect. He's a chef, a sports hero, and a hilarious dad. He's unreal! That's the best word for it. He's just a character on a show. My dad is a good dad, but he's nothing like this guy. That's because it's not real, it's just a made-up situation. I know, but maybe it could be. Could be what? Huh? Well, you said maybe it could be, and then you trailed off like you were thinking of some wacky idea. You know, life is not a sitcom. I know, but maybe it could be. See, you just did it again. Huh? Ah! Hey, Maurice. Okay, Dot. I think you're all wired up and ready to go. The sound should be working in every room. Here's the remote. Thanks. What's this button that says Maurice? Please press that any time that I enter a room. Got it. So what's all this for anyways? I'm proving to Luke that with the right formula, it's possible to create the perfect dad, just like you see on TV. That would be nice. What was your dad like when you were growing up? Invisible. You had an invisible dad? <laughs> I mean, he wasn't home very much. He traveled a lot. But that was my dad on Earth. You also had an alien dad? <laughs> no, I, I just mean, when I chose to follow Jesus, God became my dad. And he is the best dad. I can talk to him any time that I need to, and he always knows how to meet my needs. But don't you wish you had the perfect dad here on Earth? No matter what kind of dad I have on Earth, I can always say this. I am accepted and loved, a child of God above. I am accepted and loved, a child of God above. Good luck with your experiment, but don't forget what I said. I still think it's possible to create a perfect Earth Dad. Oh! 
And even though you rented a pony without my permission and I'll probably be floundering in financial debt for the rest of my life, you're still my little home run. I love you, Dad. Man, when is life gonna stop throwing me curveballs? See, this just seems cheesy. Dot needs to see an example of a real dad. Hmm. What about the dad that God trusted with his own son? This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. is alive. When God sent His Son, Jesus, He placed Him in a very unusual family. That's because His mother, Mary, was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before they were married, Joseph discovered that she was going to have a baby. Joseph wasn't sure what he should do. He knew he wasn't the father of Mary's baby. Still, he loved Mary and didn't want others to harm her or think badly of her. While Joseph was trying to figure out what to do, he had a dream. In his dream, an angel told Joseph to take Mary as his wife because the baby she carried was God's son and Joseph would be Jesus' adopted father. It was all part of God's plan. When Joseph woke up, he did exactly what the angel said. He married Mary, and together they got ready to bring God's son into the world. After Jesus was born, Joseph had another dream. An angel appeared again telling Joseph to take Mary and Jesus to Egypt. The angel said the evil King Herod was looking for Jesus, and if the king found Jesus, he would kill him. Joseph was a good father to Jesus. After all, he had adopted Jesus as his own. So he took his family to Egypt to protect Jesus and his mother from the evil King Herod. And when the angel appeared again to tell Joseph the evil king was dead and the coast was clear, Joseph took Jesus and Mary to Nazareth. He took his wife and adopted son home. Joseph was a carpenter. He built things out of wood. And as Jesus grew up, Joseph taught Jesus how to be a carpenter too. Even though Joseph knew Jesus was God's son, he raised Jesus as his very own. He became the father of the Son of God and it was all part of God's plan. All of this is very important because the Bible tells us that when God sent Jesus, He made a way for us to be adopted into His family. God made a way for us to become His very own children. And when God adopts us, we don't just become like His children, and He doesn't just become like our Father. He becomes our real Heavenly Father, and we really become His children. So, when you think of Christmas, think of Joseph, the adoptive father of Jesus. And remember how when God sent Jesus, He made a way to adopt us and make us His very own. When Dot sees this Bible story, she'll see that just like Jesus, God is our dad. When we choose to follow Jesus, God adopts us as his sons and daughters. That's better than any fake sitcom, Dad. What is that smell? Whew. Not my socks this time. Something burning? That box just moved? <laughs> Who is laughing at me? It's a smoke. Smoke, 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 smoke. Ah! What is going 
going on? Well, you know how you said I couldn't get a pet? I never said that. While you were making muffins, I hatched a crazy scheme to sneak a pet and a Connect HQ and a Christmas present. I didn't make muffins. Wait, there's a live animal in there. <laughs> what is that noise? You'll have to ask Maurice about that. Did somebody say Maurice? Oh, stop pressing buttons. I can't think straight. <coughs> Dot. Whatever is in that box sounds like a squirrel. Bingo! Needs to be taken back outside. But shouldn't you sit me down and have a heart to heart with me before you say a catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Don't you have a cooking or baseball related life lesson you should share with me first? Here's a life lesson for you you can't put a squirrel inside a box. Technically, you can, but you shouldn't. Nutty. I guess we're not wanted in here. <laughs> Awkward. Even though you set off a glitter bomb in our living room. <sighs> Man, when is life gonna stop throwing me curveballs? There any squirrels in here? Nope. What about invisible audiences? All gone. I know, I know, you don't have to tell me my perfect dad plan didn't work. Why is it such a big deal for you to create the perfect dad? I was watching the show and thinking of all the different families we come from. Some of us have bad dads or stepdads or adoptive dads or no dads. Think of all the different kids we could help if we figured out the formula for the perfect dad. Well, there is no formula. Most dads aren't perfect like the ones that we see on TV or read about, and that is okay. Because God gave us a way to be his children, just like it says in the book of Ephesians, chapter one, verse five. You wanna say it with me? Sure. Okay. Ephesians one, five. Ephesians one, five. So he decided long ago, so he decided long ago to adopt us as his children. To adopt us as his children. He did it because of what Jesus Christ has done. He did it because of what Jesus Christ has done. God sent Jesus to show us his love and die on a cross to take the punishments for our sins. When we believe in that and choose to follow Jesus, we are adopted immediately as sons and daughters of God. And God becomes our dad. Uh, he may not be the sports star or chef, but he's better. Well, he knows our needs and he meets them. He's a great father. Now, where is that remote? Why? Well, you had a pretty solid heart to hearts. I think that calls for some applause. I'll give it to you on one condition. You have to say a catchphrase first. Okay, uh, 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 how about, uh, you're safe at home? Whoops, <laughs> try, try that one. All right. <laughs> how long are we supposed to stay frozen like this? Through the credits. Hi, my name is Luke, and we found an answer for you. The Bible tells us this in the book of Ephesians. Ephesians 1, 5. So he decided long ago to adopt us as his children. He did it because of what Jesus Christ has done. God loves you. And even before this world was created, he chose you to be his child. That's why he sent his son, Jesus, to earth so that we could follow Jesus and become adopted sons and daughters of God. Jesus had a dad on earth named Joseph to take care of him, teach him and be there for him while he was here on earth. If you have a dad you know, or one you don't, God adopts you and he is your real dad. He takes care of you and treats you as his very own child. You may have an idea of what the perfect dad should be like, but God is the best dad. 
You can spend time with him, talk to him, and trust him to take care of anything you need. When we get to know God as our dad, we are accepted and loved, no matter what. That's because he sees us as his precious and loved children. No matter what type of dad you may have here on earth, you can say, I am accepted and loved, a child of God above. I hope that helps. And just remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Looks like the home plate dad isn't as perfect as the character he played on TV. No kidding. I thought he was loving and patient and good, but I couldn't have been further from the truth. Are you disappointed? Maybe a little. But Luke helped me realize that no dad will ever care for me as perfectly as God does. God really is the best dad we can ask for. Did the home plate dad just fall into the chimpanzee pit? I'm afraid to see what happens next. Well, they finally caught the home plate dad. They found him asleep next to a baby camel at the petting zoo. I want a baby camel. None of our earthly dads are perfect. They all make mistakes. But God will never let us down, and He wants to be your heavenly dad. If you want to make the choice to follow Jesus, you can do that right now. All you have to remember are the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong, and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make that choice today, be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust. That is the most important decision that you can make. If you want to know more about that, I want you to talk about it as a family before we finish today. All right. We have a verse that we need to learn. I'm gonna say it. I want you to say it with me. Here we go. Ephesians 1, 5. So he decided long ago to adopt us as his children. He did it because of what Jesus Christ has done. Great job. Now we're created by God to be his children. When we choose to trust and follow Jesus, we're in his family. Let's play a game to see all the fun things his family likes to do. Now, someone in your family gets to say, I'm a child of God and I like to, and then acts out something they like to do and everyone has to guess what it is. Then the next person takes a turn, just like this. I'm a child of God and I like to, <laughs> whoa, 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 do you, do you know what I'm doing? Ah, ah, I'm a child of God and I like to go fishing. Now it's your turn. Great job. Even though we are all different and love to do different things, we all have the same father when we choose to follow Jesus, God, the perfect dad. Now we have some great questions for you to answer as a family Thank you so much for joining me in Connect today, and I'll see you later.